what we know is that there is a lot of heart disease in South Wales and the vast bulk of heart disease in South Wales are patients who have coronary artery disease and whereas we have excellent surgeons and cardiologists who can help to sort out the plumbing side of coronary artery disease, unfortunately a lot of patients will already have suffered a significant amount of damage to their hearts before the arteries can be repaired either with stents or bypass surgery. And in the patients who have suffered a heart attack, they will inevitably have some degree of scarring inside the heart. And that scarring is a trigger for potentially fatal heart rhythms. Thanks to the surgeons, they marvellous. I couldn't go to work anymore. The palpitation was taken over me. Mm -hmm. So they had to finish, had to finish work in about six, seven months. Enough. And uh, hopefully I'll well, yes, go back to work. But hopefully I can live a full life. I hope I can you know, go back and play watching rugby. And Mr Humphreys, who again is very typical of the way we would manage this sort of patient, ended up with a defibrillator. So this defibrillator was implanted to protect Mr Humphreys from having these fatal heart rhythms, because we know that he has this scarring inside of his heart. Now, the defibrillators are very good at treating the nasty heart rhythms. So, as was the case with Mr Humphreys, he had several shocks over a very short space of time, over Christmas just gone and during the summer prior to that. And these shocks can be completely debilitating. Um, I, I don't have a defibrillator, but I, 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 we know that it feels like a, a, a kick in the chest from a horse, mm -hmm. uh, is how it's usually described. Um, and what we also know is that as soon as patients start to have these shocks, their survival is reduced. We know that it's effectively um, a, a warning that the patient is now on a bit of a slippery slope um, and we need to try and improve their heart function. And the way we do that in the first instance is with, is with medication. But unfortunately, we know that medication is not successful all the time. And Hence, Mr. Humphreys had this second bout of lots of shocks at Christmas. A relatively new therapy, a new procedure called VT ablation. It was a six hour operation procedure, but um, uh, it certainly will be worth it um, because we know that if the procedure is successful, as was the case with Mr. Humphreys, not only is quality of life improved, but survival is improved.